Hey everybody and uh, welcome to another DIY Arts and Crafts and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own Christian storage box. You guys can see that. Um, okay, sorry, I had to check the camera. Uh, but yeah, um, I did a video on how I'm showing you guys something, showing you guys um, the box that I made and I've done another one so I'm going to do a DIY and I'm going to make it look very much like this. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your screwdriver, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, unscrew the hinges and the locks. All right, now once you've got um, all the hinges and screws and locks out, you're gonna put them in a small container. Now, this is actually just a small uh, food container that I got at Walmart. Um, you can use uh, plastic bags or a, or a small box. What, you just look around your house to see what you can find. It'll help store them in one place so you don't lose them all. So I'm just, we're going to set those aside. We're going to start working on the boxes. And uh, just so you know, I got these boxes at Michael's. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take a, uh, a uh, one and a half size paintbrush. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a, uh, a wood finish stain, which is a penetrating stain. Um, container, which this one is actually a golden oak uh, 2108. Um, I thought this will help make the boxes look a lot more nicer and a lot more fancier. So what you're going to do is you're going to open this up, which I've already done, and you're going to put it aside. And what you're going to do is you're going to um, place some, both the box, the lid and the main box um, on some paper towel, and you're going to place the main box upside down because you, you're going to paint the bottom of it. So you're going to dip your... Uh, your um, paintbrush inside the stain and you're gonna paint all over it, all over the top of the box. And also, if you have, if you see some bubbles, just wipe them off um, gently with the brush, just to help pop them out. Now, now while you're waiting for those boxes to dry, you can go ahead and get started on painting your cross. Now, I've actually done a DIY on how to on how to do this, and um, on my uh, Easter Lily Thorn Wreath DIY, um, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check out how to do this. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, is you're gonna um, take a pencil. You're gonna try and try and put the cross in the center of the box. So try and try and eyeball it. So what what I usually do is that um, I try and uh, line it on the top center with these two little holes right here. And uh, once you got it just about right, you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna draw out a little mark on each side of the cross. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this off. And if you look very carefully, you can just barely see those little markings that you did. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some crazy glue and you're gonna add just a little bit of glue on the um, back of the cross. Okay, once you got just about a little bit enough of glue on the back, not don't put a whole lot because because if you put a whole lot, there's going to be lots and lots of glue sticking out when you put it on the lid. So just add a little bit of dots, one on the top, bottom, and on the sides. So just try and uh, mesh, try and get it um, lined up on the uh, lid. Try and with the markings that you did. Try and put it in the center, and then you're going to push it push it down just a little bit. And then you're going to let that glue dry. Okay, once that is dry, what you're going to do now is you're going to place some uh, new paper towels on the boxes. You're going to place the, the main box upside down again. And what you're going to do is you're going to take some uh, clear gloss. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip your, dip your brush in. Make sure you drain some liquid, some access, I mean. Okay. 
and you're gonna put some clear gloss on your boxes. It'll help shiny and to make it seal up the paint. It's kind of like with clear coat with, when you use acrylic paint. All right, now once you got that, um, you might want to make you want to look very closely just so you don't see any hair from the paintbrush. If you do, just try and just wipe it off with the other brush, or you can use a uh, paper towel. Okay, now if you're using uh, this kind of um, stain, um, don't worry about the dust and stuff because you can't be able to see it very well. But you might want to do it um, with the with the with the cross that you painted. So what I'm gonna so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find some kind of a box or something and to help put it on top of it. So you're just going to, I'm just going to leave, so I'm going to use this this uh, paper cardboard and I'm going to leave it like that to help keep the dust off the cross and then you're going to let both the box and the lid to dry. Okay, now for the, now what you're going to do is you're going to take some purple felt. Now you could do this, do this in two ways. You can either just tuck, tuck the felt in and line them up against the edges of the outer curve, outer part of the box, I mean, like this, and you could just just take some kind of object that's not too sharp and just crease the lines, then take it out and then cut it. Or you could do what I'm gonna do, and uh, you're gonna take some paper cardboard, and what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna, um, you're gonna take some card, you're gonna take some paper cardboard, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, line it up on the uh, inner edge, like like this and then you can take your pencil and then draw out draw it out and then cut it and then just just put it in then cut it on the edge and then cut it off now if you don't have a cardboard that's not too big not big enough to um, cover the entire sides of the box what you do is that um, you take a paper cardboard take two paper cardboards like this this then you could take some uh, double-sided tape, stick that on, and like that. And then you take your pencil, so, and then just draw it out, and then use your scissors and then cut it like that. Now, if you want to know the measurements, um, the depths for the inside should be almost two and a half inches. The, um, the width for the front and back should be eight inches, and the width on the sides should be four and three quarter inches. Okay, now once you got your paper cardboards cut out, you got them the right size, what you're gonna do is you're gonna line them up on the outer, on the edges of the felt, like this. Make sure the corners are touching. Then you're gonna take your pen and you're gonna draw out, draw out the um, edges like this. And you're gonna repeat this process on the last three corners.